be honest. Alright, let's move on to the boathouse. Let's see what this boathouse uh, has to offer. So this is the this is double lines, basically. This is getting confused with your cursor. Matter, even though we've got the like the dot on one of the um, one of the lines, I'm still looking at both and getting royally confused. As to which one is which. for like it's only like half of the um only half of that puzzle right there which is blocked off which is uh, interesting now we get to be even more confused Dealing with uh, multiple lines here. So, where can we escape? It's there. The old melted glass panel as well. Those weird things that you always remember. It's a very, uh, it's a very subtle thing. Nonetheless, one of those things that you never forget. to get onto the cliff. Now, I mean, interesting actually, like over here, because, and again, spoilers, but if there's puzzles down here that rely on the shapes of the rocks and bits and pieces and the trees, I wonder if, uh, or how even, they've managed to be randomized. So we have double lines here. Get that one last, I guess. Relatively straightforward at the moment. Nothing too tricky. Okay, so we need to...
Make sure. Include everything. The weird thing is, I don't know, like, how... Ra I, I honestly can't say how... Randomized these puzzles are, because I don't... I, I wouldn't say I, like, remember solutions to individual puzzles. So I don't know how different and how randomized they actually are in comparison to the originals. Obviously, knowing the mechanics, though, makes everything um, a lot quicker and easier to solve. Uh, he says... this one here so I think we do need to go there with that one okay. yeah Ah, this one's an interesting one. Like here, we have to travel around this corner, really. So what we're going to need to do there, then... Is that'll be the finale to get there? We're going to need to. We're going to need to go differently, aren't we? Yeah, we need to go around it like that. So we just need to alter our path slightly to include this. By doing that... Hmm. Blue has to go from the left hand side, pretty sure. We have to go down. How do we pick up that? We're going to pick up that dot.
we can pick that up there, but then we miss that one there. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Back to a bit of momentum. These ones, I remember this the first on my first playthrough, and I was I was actually pretty confused about like what was going on here. I thought, and you may laugh at this, but I honestly thought that like I needed to get power from like the line somewhere because like the the orange the, the yellow line fades out on this one so you get to a point where you can't really see the orange line anymore and i honestly thought like it was lacking power and i need to like give it more power somehow but um yeah crazy Get this one first. There we go. And we don't have an out. That's better. So... Pick up that one. I'll pick up that one. I'll pick up that one. And then here. It's, okay, so we need to do that. Can't do that straight away. This one, oh geez, okay, so straight across, up, across, down, 
down, cross and up. I missed that one. Okay, how did I miss that? It's because... Okay, I'll pick that up now. Cross. Okay, so that's almost right. We probably need to take a little bit of a door here. And then there we go. Cool. Fantastic. Now where is the walkway down to this other piece, this other area? On somewhere. We go around the edge here. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm interested, like, to see whether or not these are in any way, shape, or form, like, randomized. But I don't see how they could be. Very much just a case, of, unless, like, the rocks have been added in, and they are a different size, of course. Small, large, mid. mid. Small, large, mid. This one, of course, is teaching us that we can, um, can actually use these panels from either side. Is what that is teaching us right there. All right, let's head back up to the top, and we can think about creating a laser, hopefully. About 50 minutes in, and we're already approaching laser number one, which is pretty good. That's a, I hate these ones, though. I really dislike these ones. Um, it's just the whole symmetry thing going on that I don't like. You know what? I could probably do it like this, though, and make it a lot easier. I never thought to do it like this before. Yeah, it uh, certainly makes things considerably easier. Ooh. Ah, this one's a little bit interesting, actually. It's like tile we tackle... like we have to go around here Oh. 
This arrangement of these three here is interesting. So we can't do both of the this, this and this. I'm not sure how I'm meant to like go around here. Ah. There we go. Yeah, so this is what I this is what always catch me out with these ones. It's like sometimes they're not just they're not just back to front, they are also um flipped as well. I've never thought to kind of like do do the puzzles like this where I can see both of them, and I've always kind of struggled a little bit, which is um, weird. Okay, so interestingly as well, now that I'm up here, this is what I was like looking at before with the mountain. You can see I've already activated a laser, and this is what I was talking about before when I was testing. I could see like there was a laser activated, and it's actually in the like the shadow area over there. So I guess because of the nature of those puzzles, it's not possible to um, randomize them. So it just gives you that laser for free, possibly. going from the so yeah okay we need to go like these ones first possibly Yo, test chamber junkie, how you doing, dude? So this one is really weird because this one is like rotated about like 90 degrees. So. Down two, across one, up one. Across the edge, down, around, around. Yeah, I'm not too bad, thanks. There's a lot of stuff going on. And just it's good to be back to streaming. But I don't know how whether or not it's gonna be like back to like a regular thing. 